That is a NASA mission launching last night, taking aim at a very distant target, one it's not going to hit for months, in fact, going to crash eventually into a tiny moon orbiting a faraway asteroid. It's an absolutely fascinating venture and mission. And Chris Glover is in Washington to tell us more about it. Chris. Well, Heather, I know that you love space stories. I love space stories as well. And this certainly sounds like one to get excited about. NASA is dubbing this as the first test mission to defend planet Earth. And on board that rocket that blasted off overnight was what's known as a double asteroid redirection test, or DART for short. And NASA's promotional video for this is basically a Hollywood movie trailer, Heather. You got to watch this. In a galaxy where asteroids have pummeled planets for billions of years, now one planet strikes back. For the first time in our planet's history, NASA will test an asteroid deflection technique. It's the first planetary defense method of its kind. Certainly bringing the drama with that video, but let's dig into the plot of this story a little bit. We've got the bad guys, the moon, Dimorphos, and its asteroid, Didymos. And technically, they're not really bad guys, Heather. These targets pose no threat to planet Earth, but NASA is interested in them because asteroids of their size certainly could be a threat to us. So the plan is basically to have the DART spacecraft ram into Dimorphos and cause a method of deflection that's known as kinetic impact, basically a nudge to throw it off course. And researchers are going to measure it using telescopes from down here on Earth so that they can test how prepared they are in case another asteroid in the future really does pose a threat to us. And when will we find that out? When is it expected to make impact if it works, Chris? Well, this is where the uh, story has a big to be continued. Check back uh, with me in about 10 months. DART is going to be traveling just outside Earth's orbit until the end of September next year. And that's when Didymos and Dimorphos are going to be within striking distance, roughly 11 million kilometers from Earth. And that's when this collision is expected to take place. You heard it in that video from NASA. This is the first time this technique is being used. But Andrew Rivkin, a planetary astronomer, says there are other options for Earthlings to protect the planet, including a nuclear device. To uh, detonate nearby a threatening asteroid, vaporize part of it and, and deflect it that way. Uh, but uh, we obviously want to have as many different tools in our toolbox as we can because we're going to be faced with different, uh, different scenarios. And so we want to make sure we have the, the right tool for the right job. Currently, there are no asteroids on a direct collision course with planet Earth, according to NASA, but there are some 27,000 asteroids in what's known as near Earth. So scientists just want to be ready in case one of them uh, ends up on a collision course with planet Earth. You know, I love one of their comments. The dinosaurs didn't have a DART mission, so that's why <laughs> it's such a big milestone for them in some ways. Thank you, Chris Glover. I appreciate that from Washington today. Thank you, Heather.